In this how-to video I'm going to do an overview of IIS and Windows 2008 R2. So first we need to open up the Internet Information Services Manager from Administrative Tools. And here is the manager. Go ahead and expand that. At this time we don't have any sites besides the default site that's been created. If you click on the server itself, you'll see some options that you only see in this area, such as server certificates, which is a big one if you want to have a secure website, and FTP authentication, firewall support, that's all new in the 2008 version. We also have IIS manager users, permissions, various different control areas, but if we go into the websites themselves, we'll see that there's the authentication and by default anonymous is enabled. And here if you want you can disable that and edit to add specific users or groups from Active Directory. There's also an HTTP redirect, so if you want to redirect a website to another location you can do that here. And then we also have logging, which is uh, a big help when there's issues with the website, and SSL settings as well. Here you can require SSL with the certificates that you've set up in the beginning. From here we can go ahead and we can add a website, and we can go through the site name, the path, the binding, the host headers, which is also the host name. and the default document which is also very important they, we still have the same default documents that you saw in the Windows 2003 version but you can they also added the index that HTML, HTML as well so it will hit whichever page it finds first in this list but you can also add a default document it's not listed in there application pools there's a default pool here but more pools can be added by right clicking choosing to add the pool this is uh, especially helpful for applications or websites that link back to databases. And there'll be additional videos on how to do specific things inside IIS, so stay tuned for that.